man, kids are getting f up. Like, I'm talking about, like, their whole life. Like, they're getting, they're spawn camping themselves. It's like you spawn in in Halo, the first thing you do is look at the ground and you throw a grenade. There he is. First thing you do. Welcome back. Today we're breaking down Galaxy Gas. Who's oh behind boy. it? Is it bad? Is it really just for food? And am I in my old man arc? Because today mm -hmm. we're complaining about a TikTok trend, okay? A dangerous trend. Well, I mean, to be fair, I mean, if the TikTok trend is let's do this thing that makes oxygen stop going to your brain, I feel like that's not a good trend. Like, you don't have to be an old man. You don't have to be a doctor to see that. I can see that right away. Uh, no, the answer is no. I'm very cool, still very hip, still That's very right. with it, okay? But I did want to talk about These nitrous kids oxide with it, today, though. a.k.a. laughing gas, a.k.a. Yeah. whippets, a.k.a. doing a Kanye. Uh, look, it's kind of an old thing, mm -hmm. and that's kind of become a new thing because we've Americanized this small little canister that used to, you yeah. know, you used to get this little cartridge thing and now and you get a big one people would inhale it and get high Tide pods uh, 2.0 you get it at the dentist sometimes yeah. now i actually we... think tide pods are different because like tide pods were always a meme right they're like oh it's the forbidden fruit and it was mainly kids joking around and it was sarcasm the galaxy gas is like let's actually do this i feel like it's two very different things turned it into a flavored <laughs> A flavored giant canister that kids are walking around school well, they flavored? and doing in their classroom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God damn, what the f <laughs> <laughs> The crazy thing about this clip. The, the crazy thing is that like if you watch this, you can clearly see the moment where the oxygen stops going to his brain. Like watch his face. <laughs> You see that? Now it's not. But you it, it, and like that shit, like real, real talk. Like that's actually scary to me. Like that's scary to watch. Like he was out for like a you know like a point two, a point three second, right? That's wow. I can't see how somebody could watch that and be like, oh yeah, <laughs> fucking load me up just the youth that are on this it's also mainstream celebrities uh, like uh, kanye, kanye west was recently exposed for being bro no are you kidding me man why you gotta do this who why do you do this to yourself addicted to nitrous oxide i say exposed but he also posted this video he posted Ryan himself Garcia, this is i'm on the nitrous so so i don't know how much you can expose somebody who's just posting that yeah uh but rappers I'm not everywhere gonna say are sort of also type of doctor uh, getting into this in fact adam 22 who does a podcast kind of covering I saw this. um some of this stuff recently well released a video four years ago talking yeah. about this drug is taking over the rap game even back then, it was becoming more popular. Damn, Here's kind of what he said ago. about it. Now, it all seems like fun and games at first, right? Like laughing gas can't be so bad. But uh -huh. in the long term is when you really start to see the nasty side effects kick in. Funny mm -hmm. enough, if you fast forward four years to today, uh, he he's was on doing it. Yeah, he's doing. That's what's so crazy is like, I just every person that I see talking about galaxy gas and doing whippets, when I hear them talk like this is the way that somebody talks that does this stuff. Like, you don't know what the fuck they're saying. Like, it, it's just, it's insane. Like, how do you watch this and be like, oh, wow, I know what I want. On his podcast recently and did whippets on his own podcast, uh, which I thought uh -huh. was weird for someone who's like, yeah, this is, this is bad. It's going to ruin your brain. All right, let's go. <laughs> you better blur my ass so bad, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you add a twenty-two now. Yeah, over. <laughs> did it? I did it too fast. What the? <laughs> you had him. <laughs> How the f am I letting him do it? Uh, you had him. But it's not just the kids and rap. <laughs> just dude.
How do you watch this and be like, bro, sign me the fuck up? <laughs> Where do I get one? First, even Joe Rogan's yeah. podcast has seen some of this stuff. Ari Shafir, a comedian, oh, recently the amazing did Whippets racist. live on the show. What is that? Be spaz, don't shit. What do you got, Whippets? Yeah. Oh, no. you sick. You whippets? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Let's go. This might not is be this legal? No. Yeah, it's like you get him in headshots. <laughs> no. No? You're going to forget how to play pool. Okay, do whippets kill brain cells? Okay, so then he's taking whippets while Joe Rogan's reading. Do they kill brain cells? Yes or no? <laughs> Answer actually is a yes. Yeah, they do. Uh, but they do. if you heard in the background, they kind of say, is like, this legal? I, I, I don't need to tell. I don't need, so, I don't need a scientific study. I watch people talk about whippets. Like, every rap song about whippets... I understand Spanish better than I understand their English. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I, I have to find some actual brain damage. Yeah, and that's the thing is like I laugh at it, right? But like you actually just fucked your life up. And then somebody's like, no, and somebody else says, well, no, they just sell them in like head shops everywhere. And that's like part of K. the problem is that yeah. while nitrous oxide is supposed to be just for, you know, um, dental, like, like as a drug uh -huh. to be consumed by people is supposed to be uh, they should sell them at, Toys R Us. at the same time. There's also this kind of loophole where it technically can be sold for culinary purposes, uh -huh. where it's sold for like whipped cream, because to use a whipped cream canister, you need a little bit of nitrous yeah, true. in order to make it like fluffy. But the it's not gonna make you high because you're not actually ingesting the stuff. So the loophole that has been figured out by these companies is that mm -hmm. you can sell these canisters as chargers for whipped cream. Right. And this brings us to Galaxy Gas. This is currently the most popular uh -huh. way to abuse nitrous oxide. And if you go to their website, they say that it's intended solely as a food processing. Per it must be so annoying for them to have to pretend like they're not just selling drugs to kids. And it's like you have to always talk around it. And it's like, yeah, you can use these on strawberries. And there's also for pasta. And yeah, that yeah, of course you want to sell. You don't you don't want to don't use them by itself. And it's like it's like a uh, like a drug front, you know. What? Well, it's not like a drug front, and it's not even a drug front. It's just a drug store, and you go into the store and you buy drugs. But you tell them you're not. I'm buying this to make strawberry shortcake. Oh, okay. I need this heroin. Uh, I, I'm, I'm buying cocaine uh, to make Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. That's totally fine. Let me ring you up, sir. Repellent for whipped cream and culinary use only. And you say yes. Mm -hmm. And then they have recipes for how to use their product. And then you can Imagine see being the person whose job it is to do that. That's like the most useless fucking job in the world. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like your your job is to, you have to write these bullshit articles that nobody's going to read. All their different stuff here. However, this is just a cover story. Yeah. And part of the reason I'm doing this is it pissed me off the way people credulously cover this stuff where they go, People are misusing Galaxy Gas. It's actually intended as a food product. So it's supposed to take your desserts to the next level, uh -huh. but using it the wrong way is Takes leaving people high. Level. It's not a food product. The creators know it's not a food product. This is just how they get around the law, right? Teens are getting a hold of Galaxy Gas and similar products following a dangerous trend on, of course, all places, social media. Mm -hmm. And while it has many legitimate uses, it also creates a brief but potentially deadly high. The way you cover loopholes like this isn't going like, oh, it's being, you know, it was- Kids, by the way, you can get high from this and it's totally okay. So it's called Galaxy Gas. It's on Amazon right now. Use discount code CNN for 10% off.
intended for this, but it's being misused. No, it was always intended to be abused. So I saw this. This is kind of this video is kind of the reason I'm covering all okay, of this. Here we go. Uh, this video says the guy who invented galaxy gas, and it says he has no idea at the bottom, as if he thought this was going. And then, by the way, this is not the creator of galaxy gas, but uh, <laughs> this video was created. And wow, it's an a video with a with a totally fake caption. Who, commercial who that got saved. And it's of them talking about the food, like the food aspect of all of this. And people believe, like, just believe this stuff. Galaxy Gas, well, you probably already know. But really, we're the best thing that's ever happened to your kitchen. Because Galaxy Gas is the purest culinary nitrous in the galaxy. Why start your morning off with that boring cured coffee when you can just as easily whip yourself up a nitro cola? We got eight amazing flavors for you to chef up whatever your heart desires. So if the bad acting wasn't sort of already a dead giveaway, there's... I've seen Raid Shadow Legends ads that are more authentic and believable than that. I'm sorry. Uh, even more proof that this is just a silly cover-up. Now, albeit they're going through with the bit because they create little recipes. Oh, even yeah. Even if you go to their website, they have, like, all their YouTube videos are them like creating little uh i guess this uh, would be like really good if you worked at this company and you had like a, a a relative that's like basically a fucking retard and they can't get a job anywhere they're like yeah okay why don't you just go write us articles for how to cook but like, wait i don't know how to cook i don't even know how to write yeah that's fine it, it won't matter they can't read go ahead yeah they can't read either so it's a match made in heaven little recipes with go. their thing like so so they're really committing to the idea that oh mm -hmm. we really believe this is everyone's using this to chef stuff up uh -huh. but there's an easy way you know this is not true How's and that's that? because if you were to actually use these canisters for their intended purpose yeah. of whipped cream uh it's way too much like you only need a tiny amount of nitrous to fill an yeah. entire whipped cream can and so uh, this report at Fox 8 Local did a good job of breaking mm -hmm. this down. ...of whipped cream per container. Now, a can like this typically takes about six and a half grams of nitrous oxide to right. make. Compare that to this tank with 2,000 grams of nitrous oxide. If you well, I mean, damn. I mean, you want to buy the 2,000. I mean, that seems like a lot. Well, you think about how much whipped cream you could eat with 2,000 grams. That sounds amazing. That's a lot of whipped cream. That's 800 percent value. True. Portion things out similarly, you can make approximately twenty-two thousand seven hundred ninety-two. It's just crazy to me. It's like imagine being the kid who gets to come to school with the strawberry watermelon two hundred gram galaxy gas thing. Like you're gonna be the coolest kid in ninth grade. And the funny thing is, you're gonna be the coolest kid in ninth grade for five years in a row. <laughs> servings of whipped cream with that strawberry watermelon nitrous alone it's preposterous <laughs> once you actually learn how much whipped cream this stuff I've could make it, yeah uh to think that anyone in their right mind would be using it for this and obviously the creators of the product who are portioning it out know that fact the yeah. reason they're selling something that could make twenty-two thousand servings of uh whipped cream which no normal person 000. needs is because no they know nobody's using it actually for <laughs> of course uh culinary purposes of course the other thing is a you lot of the by the way coffee brings up a really really good point here totally fucking right that the serving size is oh yeah this is a serving size of twenty two thousand. uh-huh sure these products are not sold by a culinary place it's sold by like vape shops of in course. fact if you remember the guy who supposedly yeah, created and, yeah it's like where, where you want to buy these oh well you go to the go to the so like what's the closest thing you have to a drugstore well planet k is pretty close yeah you buy it there did galaxy gas i'll show you them again that's the mm -hmm. buddy and this is uh the other guy this guy who's did not invent it, but supposedly invented it. For you to shut up. Turns out up. you can find him as the promoter of something called Cloud9 Smoke uh -huh. Co. Where he is uh, making promotional videos for a vape shop. The vape in my pocket is the Grello Bar in the Red Apple Frozen flavor. It tastes amazing. And of course, this bar has the juice indicator. So obviously, this guy is not moonlighting as a chef. This is just a yeah. cover story to sell uh, an illegal high. 
an otherwise illegal high. No, now, that's the way it is. Like whenever we was uh, in high school, the thing was salvia. Like salvia, whenever I was thinking, it was like, I was like a junior or senior or something like that. I, I don't remember exactly. Uh, like salvia was still like not criminalized here in Texas. And so like my friends, uh, they would go and buy it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We go and buy it. Uh, not we. I, I never, 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 never tried that shit. Um, just because it was expensive and I wanted to spend my money on magic cards. It's not because I was afraid of it. I just didn't want to spend the money on it. Uh, and, and so I never, never did it. Uh, but my friends would go to like Planet K and like we were like 15, 16. They just sell it to us. They just fucking sell it to us. There it is. Believable? Yes. It's crazy. I want to be clear. I don't believe that's the guy behind all of this. People have been uh, wondering no, I, for a who while knows. who is behind Galaxy Gas? Who are these guys? Because nowadays, first of all, nobody's really in front of the product anymore. They shoot uh, Mr. Beast and Logan Paul are. And think what you did to them. Huh? Yeah. Uh, most of their videos yeah. from the head up and they cover their sleeves so uh -huh. it's hard to know it's clear that they're trying to kind of cover their tracks but we have a hint from an old magazine that they forgot to scrub off the internet this is a feature Ooh. in a vape shop magazine it says hitting new highs Whoa. financially here you can see the first mention of the founders what i believe to be the founders uh -huh. it says there are brothers amor sammy ben mm -hmm. and kareem they run something called SBK International, and they're the owners of Cloud9 in Georgia. So the company that that guy was promoting, they own it. Sam, Ben, and Kareem Amor. How convenient. We know this is true because if you go to the state of Georgia, you can find that the guy on file for Galaxy Gas LLC is Khalil Amor. Uh -huh. And the same guy is CEO of uh, SBK International. Well, that's convenient. With the same last name as those brothers. Wow. Again, we can also find in a uh, complaint against Cloud9 and SBK, we also see it's, Khalil Amor. Ben bro, it's not Cloud9, it's Cloud16. Look how many fucking... Co this is crazy. Aleem Amor and Sammy Amor all Oh, named. my God. So I think these are the guys behind it. They don't want to be on the front yeah. of their... Um, culinary nitrous organization for obvious reasons yeah but they are seemingly the guys behind it at least they're registered as mm -hmm. the guys behind it especially khalil amor they get now kids um, retarded. it's also worth saying that because this has gotten so popular yeah. and so many people are doing it in schools uh -huh. as well as just culturally it's kind of nitrous is having another moment because of it's these what all the cool kids do supersized canisters yeah. of nitrous uh, it is also being looked at by regulators very uh -huh. closely, and I think probably will get shut down or be meaningfully kind of it'll watched. Get, in fact, it'll probably get nerfed, and then the kids will have to just go back to doing drugs, uh, like, you know, normal drugs. But, yeah, until then, they're going to go on it as much as they can. Good? Yeah, yeah, they're going to have to go back to just smoking weed. Galaxy Gas, a lot of people haven't seen this, recently terminated uh, their Georgia entity. So in just Ooh. a few days ago, a couple weeks ago, they terminated uh, their company under Georgia law. Additionally, you used to be able to buy their products on uh -huh. Amazon, crazy enough, and now they're unavailable. So are they- That sounds like bullshit. I looked it up the other day and they were there. Um, Galaxy Gas Amazon. Uh, I'm going to be real. Like, uh, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of this. Yeah. It's a reseller. Oh, you know what, bro? I think you could be right. I think these are resellers because it doesn't say Galaxy Gas on the side. It's like Monster Gas. A Naz Whip. Yeah. No featured offers available for Galaxy Gas. Yeah, look at this. See if I can pull it up real quick so you guys can see it. Oh, fuck. I don't know if you can see it here. But, uh, yeah, all these are, are not... Um, uh, they're not actually Galaxy Gas. So maybe they took them off because they're worried about getting too much attention. Going under, are they trying to hide? It's unknown. 
but what's clear is that all eyes are on these guys and um, they're definitely being watched. Now, do I think that's going to be the end of this epidemic? No, because it's there gonna, are so many regulation. copycat products yeah. and similar people trying well, like to if, make if I was like if I wanted money, what I would do is I would just do another one of those and then try to sell them because like sell them to as many kids as possible before they make it against the law. And similar people trying mm -hmm. to make money on a similar idea. But I want to be clear, all of them use yeah. the same stupid loophole of like, ooh, we're just we're just wanting to sell whipped cream flavored chargers. Mm -hmm. But you know it's not true because of the size of the thing that they sell and where they sell these things. In fact, while looking at this uh -huh. video, even though Galaxy Gas is unavailable, oh, I you just, can get I literally a similar just pulled it up. size yeah. tank uh, for nitrous oxide. You can get for only sixty-four of them, dollars, which would do about half a million servings of whipped cream. Directly from Amazon, you can get it wow. shipped to your door, free delivery. How? So, um, anytime you That's see this a lot stuff, of ice cream. please do not report like, oh, people are misusing it for the purpose. No, it was always intended to be misused. It was always- no, Somebody says, I, I don't think most people are doing this. I think it's an overblown story. This stuff is dangerous. Why would you want to fall on the ground due to lack of oxygen? Kids are stupid and they love doing drugs. It's pretty simple. There's really not a lot to it. Yeah, I mean, what, yeah, what, what, yeah. Intended as a way to get people high. It's not crazy. It was just a loophole that these scumbags were doing uh -huh. to make money from you losing brain cells or people you love losing brain cells. Right. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to cover that. I, I just thought I've seen a lot of people report on this, and everybody seems to be smoke screened by this food intention. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just wanted to be clear about, like, who's behind this stuff, yeah. what's actually going on. Mm -hmm and um where i think it's going which is like it's probably hit its cultural moment and i think probably regulators are gonna crack down at this point so anyway that's basically it thanks for watching crazy man. galaxy absolutely Gas crazy <laughs> wow what do you get when you my clients in rehab would bury their shit in a jar and then ferment it and get high off fumes yeah uh they, they did that back in the day too uh it's called getting shit faced but um, no, it's been very common, actually. Like that's not that's not new at all. And they would also do it with cow shit too. Yeah, that was a that's a really really old one. Jenka, yeah, yeah. Let me go back. I'll link you guys this video. This is I, I didn't even know. So Coffee Still has a second channel. What the fuck? I didn't even know that. Yeah, there it is. Actually, I did know that. I forgot. But yeah, there it is. There is the video. Give it a like, man. Why pay for whippets when you can just stand up too fast? Jesus Christ, this person's probably in their 30s. Uh, why would anyone do drugs if they could just mow a lawn? Hank Hill. <laughs> the big tail of nitrous itself doesn't need to be flavored if it's used for food. It's clearly it's being used to be getting high. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. I, I wonder what's going to happen, to be honest. Like, I really do. Like, I, I don't even know. Because the problem is, like, regulators are really stupid. And so are they going to be able to take control of this? Are they going to figure out what's going on? Or are they just going to fuck it up? Because I feel like they're probably just going to fuck it up, to be honest. That's exactly what I think would happen. Do you see the one made for the guy who stole millions in crypto? No, I didn't see that. But I think that there's a lot of, like, this is what's going to happen, right? It's like kids are going to start doing this more. And I do think that if you're a kid and you're doing this and, like, you're, like, it's just like, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, how, how do parents let your kids do that? I mean, it's permanent brain damage. Yeah. You need a business license like in many EU countries. Oh, you think so? Maybe. Maybe you're right. I don't know. Depends on how many money you make for it. Yeah, true. Would you admit it if you've done them? Would you admit if you've done them? Yeah, sure. Why not? Like, I've smoked weed before. Definitely. I did it twice. I didn't like it. I stopped doing it. Uh, I've drank alcohol before. I've drank alcohol like many times, like I was like, younger, right? I mean, like up to like 22, I would like drink alcohol socially and like not a lot, but like maybe one or two beers. And uh, then I stopped doing it because I didn't like drinking alcohol and I just drank it to fit in. And I was like, okay, well, why am I even doing this? Fuck this. And then I stopped. So yeah, ever get sick? No, I never got sick. Like I just don't, I, I just don't really like it. I don't enjoy it. It's not uh, enjoy, it's not 
like there there's no good part of it to me right like there's it, it's not fun to do it's not fun to pay for it it's not fun uh it doesn't smell good i don't like the way it smells it's just not something i'm interested in doing uh now if people want to drink alcohol or do drugs i don't really care um you know i'm not going to be like oh wow this is so bad you shouldn't do this but if you ask me like what my opinion on it is i don't think anybody should do it like unless you're doing it for like a medical reason then I actually don't think anybody should smoke weed and anybody should drink alcohol. I think the world would be a better place if nobody didn't.